Have you ever gone to Sandy's store at the Oasis to buy a couple hundred starfruit seeds and noticed this suited bouncer at the back of her store? Well, that's the entrance to Mr. Cree's private casino. The casino has all kinds of interesting things. I usually come to the casino to buy a rare crow or just to gamble and have a little bit of fun. You can play on the slot machines if you want and there's also a blackjack table. If you want to get access to the casino, you will need to complete a long chain quest called the mysterious quick quest. In this video, I will be going through how you can easily get access to the casino. If you are new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I try my best to release a new video every day. Alrighty, let's get started. To start the chain quest, you'll need to get your hands on a battery pack. You can get one pretty easily by making these lightning rods and placing them around your farm. When it rains and if lightning hits the lightning rod, you will get a battery pack. You can also buy a battery pack from the traveling merchant. However, I would highly recommend making quite a few lightning rods anyway. You will need them for radium sprinklers. Once you have a free battery pack, you need to take it to this tunnel past the bus. There's a fuse box with a missing battery. Just place the new battery in and you will receive a note from Mr. Kui giving you your next task. You now need to bring a rainbow shell to the train platform and leave it in the box. This is also pretty easy. You'll find rainbow shells on the beach during summer. If it is in summer and you don't have one, you will unfortunately have to wait until the next year. After successfully bringing the rainbow shell to the train platform, you will get another note and another task. You will need to plant and harvest 10 beets and place them in Mayor Lewis's fridge. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording this, but basically, you just need to place 10 beets into his fridge. You can only buy beet seeds from Sandy in the Oasis store and they will only grow in full. You can grow them in your greenhouse as well if you have unlocked it as well. After placing the beets in Mayor Lewis's fridge, you will get a new mail from Mr. Kui with your second lost task. But this one is a little bit cryptic. It was kind of a riddle. The task reads, give the dragon his final meal, but less cryptically, you need to bring solar essence and place it in the mouth of the dinosaur remains in the desert. It's pretty simple actually. You can get solar essence from killing ghosts in the regular mines or by using bombs on mummies in the skull cavern. Once you have some solar essence, bring the solar essence with you and take the bus to the desert. You'll find remains to the dinosaur right over here. I walked all around the desert trying to look for it, but it was right next to the bus stop. Just give the dinosaur remains a solar essence and you will get your lost task. Now, I won't lie, after I saw this, I was kind of annoyed. The last note tells you where you'll find the access card that will let you into the casino. And it's right next to your house in a pile of wood. Damn it, Mr. Kui! <laughs> Making us run around the whole of Stardy Valley to get a card that was right next to your house the whole time. But it's fine, it's not that bad. Now we have access to the casino. If you now try and speak to the bouncer, he will let you into the casino. Once you are in the casino, you can do a couple of things. You can buy some very random looking furniture items at the store, but the only thing I will probably purchase from the casino store is the rare crow. It's important to note that you can't actually use gold to buy things at the store. You will need to convert your gold into this purple casino currency. You will use this casino currency to gamble as well, but you cannot convert casino coins into normal gold, so don't convert too much of your gold into into casino coins. I usually just buy some casino coins and gamble it up to just enough to buy the rare crow and then I leave. <laughs> now you can do some gambling. Starting with the slots. The slots machines are very simple. Your luck will affect the slot machine odds. So if you're looking to gamble on the slot machines, make sure to come on a good luck day and eat some food that gives you increased luck. Now I'm not sure what kind of luck I had when I came here, but I was losing way more than I was winning. You can also play Calico Jack, which is just blackjack. It has the same rules of normal blackjack and it's pretty fun. If you take a look at some of the hands I was getting in Calico Jack, I was hitting randomly and was getting 21s and 20s all of the time. So I think the odds are very skewed in favor of the player for this game. I think the interface for the blackjack needs some work as it looks a little strange, but it's still quite fun to just sit here and lose some money gambling. <laughs> there's a low stakes blackjack table and for those of you who really want to lose some money, there is a high stakes blackjack table as well. And lastly, 
You can buy a statue of endless fortune for 1 million gold. It costs an insane amount of gold, I know. I couldn't afford it, but it has its uses. It will produce one love gift every day that it is someone's birthday. So if your mission is to befriend the entire town, it might be useful for that. But still, probably not worth a million gold. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you didn't know about the casino or you didn't know how to get access to the casino, you have to hit like and subscribe. But anyway, see you in the next video.